Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments. With a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency, and make money online opportunities, and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video until the end because if you don't, you'll be automatically disqualified from the giveaway. We will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily and then comment hashtag the keyword in the comment section. Also, today being Sunday, we will be announcing the lucky weekly winner from this week's giveaway. Good luck. Now, let's continue with the latest direct in our Intel provider news today. Please take any of these information with a grain of salt and do your own research. From Intel Duru Ray Ren 98 via Babisman, some banks are seeing a high sell rate on the dinar but say they can't sell it yet, waiting on approval or clearance. From Intel Newshound Guru Mountain Goat, the project to delete the zeros in the Dr. Shibibi plan was developed by the CBI and the IMF. It is a sound plan and they told they will execute it when the conditions are right. The three zero notes are not being obsoleted after the deadline in Iraq is over to turn them in. These notes will be used for interbanking of international transactions where large sums of cash must be transferred. The CBI told us this many times in articles. The CBI did tell us there will probably be at least a 10 year use of these notes by the banks for this purpose. Yes, eventually these notes will become obsoleted, but we will be way out of this and exchanged by then. From Newshound Guru Jeff, Iraq is talking out of both sides of their mouth. From one side they're saying, nope we have no intention of revaluing. On the other side, they're saying, heck yeah we have full intentions of revaluing. From Newshound Guru Samson, the US Federal Reserve adopts a new strategy towards Iraq. The dollar is threatened with rising to unprecedented levels. From Newshound Guru Militia Man article, the U.S. Federal Reserve adopts a new strategy towards Iraq. Quote, the U.S. Federal Reserve will not be able to wait forever. There are federal measures that may occur at any moment. I think that's pretty heavy, you guys. This is where push comes to shove. There's clearly pressure happening now with the CBI and the U.S. Treasury. They can't wait forever. The federal measures that may occur at any moment is a shot across the bow to be ready. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, community comment. If you have the old note with all the zeros on them, the Iraqi bank is obligated to give you the rate that's on their screen. They're not obligated to do crap. Once this change, the re-denomination takes place, then it doesn't make a difference if you have dinar in country or out of country. They have already told the world they're removing the zeros off of the dinar. So even if you have the old bank notes, they already know that a 1,000 dinar is equivalent to one new Iraqi dinar. Just because you have it outside of Iraq, you're not going to get special privileges. They automatically do the conversion for you. From Intel Guru Frank 26, Article 15 trillion dinars raises controversy in the budget. Parliament tried to add 15 trillion dinars to the budget so they can steal it. But Sudani stopped it. From Intel Guru Ray Ren 98, there is a constant vigil for the dinar rate change. They are working throughout the night. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is Inteli Invest. This will be for next Sunday's giveaway. Now, let's announce who's the lucky winner of the 100 Dogecoin. The lucky winner is shown on the screen. Congratulations! Please contact us via email and the email contact will be provided under the description of this video. On the email, please use 100 Dogecoin winner in the subject line and provide your Dogecoin address. We will also reply to your original comment if you are at least a basic member of this channel and let you know that you are the winner as well. You have four days to claim your prize.
Okay, let's move on. From newshound guru Sandy Ingram, Iraq did not follow Kuwait's revalue path. The United States pulled back on financial support for Iraq's revalue shortly after the invasion was over when they made the decision that we're not in alignment with economic growth for Iraq. It's been 20 years and the currency still has not been revalued. We are learning more about why including issues like the IMF will not support a currency adjustment until the country has more income streams outside the oil industry. Implementing banking reform that ties into international banking standards and providing housing for the hundreds of thousands of people who have been misplaced due to decades of war, not to mention corruption. And finally, the last one from Newshound Guru Jeff. Article, planning announces completion of five-year development plan from current year until 2028. What does this mean? Funding, it needs budget monies. When you see a law of this caliber come forward, because this is the backbone to everything that's going to happen. This is the development plan for five years. That's waiting for the rate to change, budgets to be approved. This is telling you everything right here. This is your timing indicator to everything. The budget, the rate change, when they're going to open up to the international world. This tells you the timing to everything you need to know. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these intel providers? Also, we released a major news article video the other day. In this video, we dove into a critical discussion about the Iraqi dinar and the initiative to delete zeros from its value. Could this be part of a larger plan to reinstate the dinar's previous value? We explored the Central Bank of Iraq has proposed an initiative to delete zeros from the Iraqi dinar. This means reducing the denominations of the currency, for example, changing a 1,000 dinar note to a 1 dinar note. But could this be more than just a redenomination? Is it part of a broader plan to reinstate the dinar's value? Please make sure to check out this video, and the video link is on the top right of this video. Lastly, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video.